In February 2022, as Russian tank columns rolled toward Kiev, an unseen observer tracked their every move, U.S. reconnaissance satellites. Orbiting 500 kilometers above Earth, these high-tech sentinels captured thermal signatures of armored vehicles with 30-centimeter resolution, transmitting real-time data to Ukrainian forces. This marked a paradigm shift. Space-based surveillance now dictates ground warfare outcomes. America's space dominance relies on two key systems, optical satellites like the KH-11 with telescope-grade cameras and radar satellites like NROL-1151 using synthetic aperture radar, SAR, to see through clouds. AI algorithms analyze pixel changes, distinguishing decoy inflatable tanks from real armor by their heat patterns and movement. A single satellite can revisit the same battlefield every 90 minutes, creating an unstoppable surveillance web. During the Battle of Kiev, Ukrainian drone operators received GPS coordinates from U.S. satellites within minutes. Result? Russian tank columns faced precision artillery strikes before reaching suburbs. One declassified report shows how satellite data identified a 40-vehicle convoy near Hostomol. Within hours, 90% were destroyed. This lethal synergy of orbital eyes and ground forces makes hiding impossible in modern war. Russia has retaliated with anti-satellite weapons and electronic warfare. In 2022, a MiG-31 launched a missile that blinded U.S. satellites temporarily with laser dazzlers. GPS jamming creates 500 meters positioning errors, enough to misdirect missiles. These tactics reveal a chilling truth. The space domain has become a contested battleground where dominance is never guaranteed. The U.S. Space Force responds with laser-armed satellites and the Blackjack Constellation, 300 AI-powered mini-satellites that can self-repair. Meanwhile, Ukraine's success proves that real-time space intelligence is now as vital as tanks or jets. As Earth's orbit fills with sensors and weapons, one truth emerges. The nation controlling the heavens will dictate conflicts on the ground below.